Hi! And welcome back to the Wolf Recaps. Today I'm going to explain a movie called Incident in Ghostland released in the year 2018. The film opens with Beth and Vera in the car with their mother. En route to their new home, which they've inherited from their Aunt Clarice. Beth, a budding horror writer, reads out her most recent work to their mother while Vera rolls her eyes in the back seat. It slowly becomes clear that the latter thinks very little of her sister's literary aspirations and finds Beth's imagination disgusting. The squabbling between the sisters continues. Unbeknownst to them, a candy truck is following them as they reach their new home. A ramshackle house full of sinister antiques and grotesque dolls. As they unpack, a candy truck that had passed them on the highway earlier parks in front of the house. One of them is a large mentally impaired man known as the Fat Man. The other intruder is known as the Candy Truck Woman. Emerges from the truck and brutally attacks the girls and their mother. Vera is then sexually abused by the Fat Man while Beth tries to get away, she runs into the woman. When Beth asks what the Candy Truck Woman wants, she replies, we just want to play with dolls. Soon Colleen recovers and kills both intruders. The movie then rolls back to 16 years later. Beth is now a successful horror fiction author living in Chicago with her husband and son. She appears on a talk show to promote her new novel Incident in a Ghost Land. Based on her experience that night, she receives a frantic phone call from her sister, who has suffered from delusions since the trauma, begging her to return to the house. We then find out that Pauline and Vera still live in the house where the incident happened all those years ago. And Vera has since had a complete mental breakdown. When Beth arrives, Colleen explains that Vera remains unable to move on and continues reliving that night. Locking herself in a padded room in the basement. Beth begins to experience strange dreams, and Vera claims that their tormentors are still trying to get them. One night, Beth finds Vera handcuffed to the bed and then sees her floating through the air. Being savagely beaten by an unseen entity. Pauline rushes out to call the ambulance and tells Beth not to listen to Vera. Beth left alone in the house falls asleep and, finally wakes up from her delusion beside Vera. And realizes that she and her sister are still captives of the intruders. She discovers bruises all over her beaten face and finds Vera also beaten up in the basement. She blames her for the wounds and Vera begs her sister to face the truth. Beth recalls a memory, and it is revealed that the candy truck woman actually killed their mother that night and Beth has been imagining her adult life all this time to disassociate. Beth is then pulled into the reality of being regularly tortured by the fat man and the candy truck woman, and makes multiply attempts to escape. The candy truck woman dresses Beth like a doll, leaving her in a room littered with dolls. The fat man begins molesting and torturing the dolls. When he gets to Beth, she fights back and manages to bludgeon one of them with her antique typewriter. She and Vera escape the house. They make it to a road where two state troopers help them, reporting the incident to dispatch. However, the candy truck woman shows up and kills the officers, and the girls are once again in captivity. Back in the house, Beth finds herself being strangled by the fat man while his accomplice chokes her sister. Just as she thinks she is about to die, a police officer shoots both the intruders. The movie ends with scenes showing the authorities arriving at the house and the two girls being rescued and taken into ambulances on stretchers. After authorities arrived, Beth sees a vision of her mother, waving at them from the house as the sisters are taken to the hospital. Upon being asked by the paramedic what she does, Beth then replies that she writes stories. That was all for the explanation. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like to help our channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your view on this movie. Thank you for watching.